Alright y'all, so let's get into this video. I like to keep it short and sweet as you guys know already. I'm going to run down everything you're going to need to make this beautiful, amazing, flavorful potato salad. So of course we got here some potatoes. I already rinsed them off and dried them. I got some mayo, sweet relish, yellow mustard, red wine vinegar. It's a must. It's a definite game changer. I got some eggs that we will be boiling. I got a little salt and pepper mix back here. I got a little white sugar minced green pepper and minced white onion so i'm going to show you guys how fun this is supposed to be you don't want them chunky okay and as for the onion same thing you want them to be that small okay all right so let's get into it first we're going to start out by cutting out potatoes and i'm going to show you exactly how i do it all right guys so here's my setup I'm going to start out by peeling the potatoes and also guys you want to have a bowl of room temperature to cold water on standby because once you cut your potatoes you want to place them in there because if you just leave them out of water they're going to turn brown and then your potato salad will look like apple pie salad. <laughs> All right so let me show you guys exactly what I do. So like I said you want to peel the potatoes first. Okay, so that's peeled now. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how I cut them. So I just basically take them one at a time or two at a time just cut them like into threes or fours turn it all right so i'm going to show the size that i have okay this is the perfect size for potato salad see that if you like your potatoes bigger than this then that's totally up to you but me, nah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put those in the cold water. I'm going to show you once more how I do this. And then I'm going to finish the rest off camera. Sorry, let me get these out of the way. Okay, I'll show you once more. This is cool, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish cutting these potatoes up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the potatoes are complete and this is what they are looking like. I did change the water. I did rinse the starchy water that they were sitting in to prevent oxidation. So now I'm going to put these in some water so that they can boil until they are fork tender. And along with that, we're also going to boil our eggs all right so let's head over to the stove all right guys so i'm going to give you guys a pro tip when you're boiling eggs the best way to do it is boil the water first and then place the eggs into the water that makes it easier when they are ready to be peeled the shell will come right off trust me if you don't know this already so i'm going to place my eggs in Be gentle with this process. You don't want them cracking inside of the pot. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to let those boil. Now we're going to add our potatoes to the water. So in we go with our potatoes. Now we're just going to let those boil until they're fork tender. But of course, I'll be showing you guys what fork tender looks like. So I'll be right back. Guys, it's about that time to check on our potatoes. They should be fork tender by now. Perfect. You want the fork to go through with no resistance, okay? If you feel resistance, put them back in. But I'm going to take these out now and cool them on a pan. Make sure you guys do not, I repeat, do not rinse your potatoes in cold water. That will cause it to break down and also it will absorb all that extra water. And then your potatoes will break down as you're mixing it and you'll be having mashed potato salad. And I know that's not what you want. We're not making that. All right. So get off as much water as you can. And I'm going to let these cool completely. I'm not going to rinse any water. I'm not going to do anything to them. I'm going to let them cool on their own. Okay. That is the proper way to do it. And it's the best way to do it. So I'm going to get the rest of these potatoes out. And I'm going to allow these to cool. And in the meantime, once I get all of these out, I'm going to show you guys how I make my mayonnaise mix. And also, guys, I also have the eggs cooling off right now, too. Those are done as well. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is how I am cooling my potatoes. I have them on a sheet pan. And I'm just going to let it do what it do. All right, so now, for real, let's go make this mayonnaise mix. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's get this mayonnaise mix started. So first you want to start out by, of course, adding your mayo. Guys, don't worry, the measurements will be in the description below. Measurements and everything else that's needed. Okay, and so from here, we're going to add our yellow mustard. And we're going to add our red wine vinegar. If you don't have this, you can also use... Uh, regular white vinegar that's fine too and guys i like to do it this way because when it comes to this part i don't like to just plop everything on top of the potatoes and mix it all in because when you do that you have a great chance of mashing your potatoes and you know making them mushy and then it's and then sometimes there can be you know pockets of uh mustard or you know mayo and everything isn't fully incorporated just like that so i like to do this first and then I add everything to the potatoes. So we're gonna add a little black pepper, a little salt to that, and also some white sugar, just a little, to balance out that, uh, that salt in there from the mustard and the extra salt that we added in there. But it's not gonna be salty, trust me. And also you wanna enhance the sweetness of the sweet relish. So with that, we're going to mix this. And it comes out better this way. It's much more creamier and flavorful. You get to taste everything, and everything is well balanced. I mean, it, it still works the other way, but, you know, I just prefer to do it this way. See? It's not loose. See how creamy that is? And it holds better on the potatoes. All right, so let me give this a taste. Ah, that's too much. Mmm. That is good. A little more yellow mustard. And a little more red wine vinegar. Trust me, guys, this isn't a lot. Seems like it, but it's really not. A little sugar. Basically, we're going to add a little more of everything, okay? A little salt. A little black pepper. Now, let's give this a mix again. Trust me, if you do it this way, if you're already not 
hip to this, you're never going to do it any other way. Trust me. It comes out so much better and flavorful this way. Okay, so let me do this again. Mm, that's it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with mixing everything. Guys, now we have our cooled potatoes. What you want to do is salt and pepper them. This right here, this step will be to your liking, okay? Always remember when you season food in layers, it comes out the best. So we seasoned our, our mayonnaise mix. Now we're going to season our potatoes because remember, potatoes absorb whatever you put on it very quickly. And a mayonnaise will take time to have to seep through. Okay? Guys, please make sure that you like this video. Also, subscribe. Definitely hit that notification button so that you can be alerted when I post a new video, which would be a great thing, don't you think? <laughs> All right, a tad bit more of that. And you see, guys, what I mean by if you don't rinse your potatoes with cold water as soon as they come out of the the uh, the boiling water from cooking, they will hold up perfect just like this. If you rinse them in cold water, they will start to break down and become very mushy. And you don't want that. And plus, the potato will absorb the liquid and you don't want that flavor. It would just, it wouldn't be that great to, to do that. If you do that, it won't come out right. Okay, so now that we've salted our potatoes, it's time to go to the next step. So now we have our finely diced green pepper and onion. You're going to add all of that in there. I'm going to spread that around a little bit just so that it's laying flat so we can add everything else. All right, now we're going to cut up our eggs. Now, see me, I like a lot of eggs in my, uh, my potato salad. Some people don't. And you can either grate this or you can or you can cut it just how I'm cutting it. Either or. But I like to see my egg. So grating them is not the best move for me. <laughs> but if that's what you like or you prefer to do, that's totally fine. Alright guys, last egg. All right, now, last but not least, we're going to add our sweet relish. Now, for the best part, let's get that mayonnaise mix that we made. We're going to add that right on up in there. I'm going to do some of it. Then I'll do the rest of it once I get this first half fully incorporated in it. You just want to mix this up. Kind of like fold it in for now. So you don't break the potatoes. Wow, this smells so good. Make sure you get the bottom. Now to this, guys. It looks like it has enough. But what I'm going to do is add... A little bit more of that mayonnaise mix because once you put this in a refrigerator, the potato is the potatoes are gonna absorb the majority of this mix here, and you don't want to dry potato salad. You still want it to be creamy as if you first made it, right? So let's do that. And if you want to stop here, you definitely can. Okay? See, we use the majority of it, it's not much of that left. See? All right, so let me fold this in. Okay, so this is fully mixed, guys. We are done. Okay, so let me give you guys a close-up of how creamy this looks. Doesn't that look good? The potato shape still held up, and it's flavorful. You can see all the flavor in it. You see the green pepper. Of course, you don't see the onion because of the color. All right. So let me transfer this to the pan that I want to store it in, in the refrigerator, and then we'll complete this potato salad.
All right, guys, so I transferred the potato salad to an aluminum foil pan because that's where I will be keeping it in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to hit it with a little paprika for some garnish. Just a little. You don't need much. And this doesn't add any flavor to it. It just makes it, you know, a little pretty. All right, guys, so there you have it. We have our potato salad. It's finished. So guess what we gonna do? You already know. Let's taste it. All right, let's do it, let's do it. All right, guys, here goes. First bite goes to you. See, I always share. Make sure you like this video. But guys, seriously, you can see all of the seasonings and the chunks of potatoes. Like I said, they held up well. So let's taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Make this exactly the way that I showed you to make it. Trust me. You're going to love it, and so will everyone else. Wow. It's flavorful. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. All the layers of flavors that we added to it, the way we did it, perfect. Hands down, perfect. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.